So when we are constructing facilities of this nature, we should therefore have a bearing of how many sport disciplines should be accommodated. Because, like we are saying, training pitch. The engineer was presenting training pitch. I could hear his, the discipline is mentioning is only the traditional few. But I can guarantee you, we can use that pitch to have very many sport competitions, very many sport disciplines participated. And for those of you who have won, I mean, you have seen the Olympics. Some of the disciplines you see there, you can get a village champion here to go and be a world champion in one day, if you give a chance. Because our people are resilient and very, very strong. We don't need to really, you know, work so hard to gain the, the, the energy we require and then do it. We are naturally, you know, strong uh, people. The second one is that the government of Uganda has provided for community clubs provision in the law as a measure to improve on child education and development. The law also provides that anybody now, and these are an encouragement to the private sector as well and the communities, for child education and development and community personal development agenda, that when such infrastructure are created, you encourage many community clubs to use it. And our work is to just register them, provide them license to operate. In the future, we hope that government will also provide subsidies to such clubs, because what they will be doing is to supplement government agenda for talent education development. As of now, we are relying more on the school system, and school system is not complete. They don't even don't have enough resources. But when you give to the communities, all these other sports can take shape. And I think as a nation, we, we need to inject the woman in community sports. I have only seen much more uh, being done in the uh, schools, secondary athletics and games and all, at all the games, and also primary and also the institutions. But in the community, I think we, we need to invest more there because that's where also the talent are. Yeah. A number of them dropped out of school and they are unable to, to, to continue. That means we can't tap their, their skills. They are, they are redundant within the community. Otherwise, the, the one department that doesn't want to call it stadium. The play field is, uh, is in the heart of the people. Is in the heart of the people. Much as we have not finished, many people would want to come and uh, participate in their games here. The recent being that of the youth tournament in the settlement, they wanted to have their finals here. When they came and met me, I when I told them it is not possible, they were very, very disappointed. Why? Because uh, they had really assured their teams that the finals will be here. Let's clap the Ministry of Land with due respect. They have a few challenges which we will address. But truth be told, my technical team is here. I can confirm that they are the first to begin to put sports infrastructure development as part of their programs. So let's thank them because this has been a missing link. Now, it's my plan, it's my wish, like the President has directed, our plan is to have a standard state-of-the-art sports facility in each and every sub-region. Each and every sub-region. When I talk about sub-region, it's West Nile. Now, that now brings to you what the General Secretary and Chairman were talking about. Our plan is to have 11, 11 acre, at least minimum. And that land, like my Chairman has said, our view is, can that land be titled? Specifically for sports. With due respect, this let's clap for peace. <laughs> World over today, peace is native. Peace actually is going to be a coach. She's actually undertaking training of being a native coach who can be employed anywhere. Now you can imagine, she's a native world ambassador. I am actually grateful that she's from Maracha. That tells you, terrible. That tells you, that's talent here. If peace can emerge from here.